Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to discuss about compass deviation by amplitude. Amplitude is a value of intercepted arc of horizon between the prime vertical and the vertical circle passing through the body when rising or sitting measured in degrees from east or west point of horizon and towards the nearer pole. Formula for sine amplitude equals sine declination over cosine latitude. Rules number one: amplitude during morning or sunrise. Letter A. If north declination, amplitude minus 90 degrees equals true bearing. Letter B. If south declination, amplitude plus 90 degrees equals true bearing. Number two. Amplitude during afternoon or sunset. Letter A. If north declination, amplitude plus 270 degrees equals true bearing. Letter B. If south declination, amplitude minus 270 degrees equals true bearing. Okay, guys. Now let's go to naming of deviation. Rules. Number one. If magnetic compass error is greater than variation, Name the deviation the same as magnetic compass error. Number two, if variation is greater than magnetic compass error, name the deviation opposite to variation. Number three, if magnetic compass error and variation are of the same name, subtract the numbers. Number four, if magnetic compass error and variation are of the different name, add the numbers and name according to Roll number one and number two. Now let's proceed to example number one. Our vessel's DR position latitude equals 36 degrees 10 minutes north, longitude 028 degrees 20 minutes west, and it is during sunrise. Sun bearing equals 112 degrees by magnetic compass. Declination equals 3 degrees. 17.1 minutes south and the local variation equals 18 degrees west let's find the magnetic compass deviation so let's proceed to solution sine amplitude equals sine declination divided by cosine latitude so 3 degrees 17.1 minutes south divided by cosine latitude 36 degrees 10 minutes north so we have these results. If you have scientific calculator, you can do this, guys. Okay, so we have amplitude is 004 degrees south. Okay, so we have prefix S because it is sunrise and the sun is rising in the east. So prefix S. And we have suffix south because we have declination south and our suffix should always be according to declination. So we have 4 degrees east south and it is in the second quadrant. And if you remember the rule that I stated a while ago, we have 2 plus 90 degrees. So 4 degrees plus 90 degrees equals 0, 0.94 degrees true. Okay guys, amplitude or true bearing is 0, 0.94 degrees true. Okay guys. Now, before we proceed to computation for finding deviation, we have first to take note of the following. Okay, guys. C stands for magnetic compass bearing. D stands for deviation. And if S plus, if West minus. M stands for magnetic compass course. V stands for variation. And S plus, West minus. And T stands for true bearing. In order for us to remember very well, we have the following. C, can, D, did, M, man, B, both, and T, twice. So, we always remember can, did, man, both, twice. Okay, guys? C, compass, magnetic compass bearing. D, deviation. M, magnetic compass course. V, variation, and T, true bearing. Can, did, man, vote twice. Okay, guys? 
So now let's proceed to computation for finding deviation. So we have magnetic compass bearing 112 degrees and we have true bearing 094 degrees. And this is always minus. So magnetic compass error equals 018 degrees west. Why west? Because true bearing is less than magnetic compass bearing. So error is west. And we have variation 018 degrees west. So same name minus. Okay guys, same name minus. So deviation is zero. So let's check if our computation is correct. So let's do the can did man vote twice. Okay. So magnetic compass bearing equals 112 degrees. Deviation zero. So magnetic compass course equals 112 degrees. Variation 18 degrees west. And west is minus. Throw bearing is 094 degrees. Okay guys, throw bearing 094 degrees. Throw bearing 094 degrees. Magnetic compass bearing 112 degrees. Division 0. So we have the same result. So our computation is correct. Okay guys. So now let's proceed to example number 2. Okay. Let's see our dead recomposition latitude 30 degrees 45 minutes south. Longitude 166 degrees 15 minutes west. And this is during sunset. This means in the afternoon. And sun bearing is 230 degrees by magnetic compass. Declination 22 degrees 12.7 minutes south. Local variation equals 16 degrees east. So now let's find the magnetic compass deviation. So first we have to solve for the true bearing or the amplitude. So sine amplitude equals sine declination divided by cosine latitude. So we have sine 22 degrees 12.7 minutes south and divided by cosine latitude 30 degrees 45 minutes south. So we have this result. As I said before, if you have a calculator or scientific calculator, you can do this. Okay guys, so now we have 26.1 degrees west south okay guys why west because it is in the afternoon and sunset and the sun is sitting in the west so we will prefix west okay guys and we we have suffix south because we have declination south and suffix is always the same as declination so we have 26.1 degrees west south okay so it is in the third quadrant. So we have to 270 degrees minus 26.1 degrees equals 243.9 degrees true. Okay guys, this is the amplitude or true bearing equals 243.9 degrees true. So let's now proceed to computation for finding deviation. So, magnetic compass bearing equals 230 degrees, true bearing 243.9 degrees, and always minus, magnetic compass error equals 13.9 degrees est. Okay, why, why est? Because true bearing is greater than magnetic compass bearing. Okay guys, so 13.9 degrees est. Variation is 16 degrees est. So, same name, minus. So, we have division 2.1 degrees west. Why west? Because variation is greater than magnetic compass error. So we have to name opposite to variation. So we have deviation 2.1 degrees west. Okay guys? So let's check if our computation is correct. So magnetic compass bearing equals 230 degrees. Deviation 2.1 degrees west. And this will be minus. So magnetic compass course equals to 7.9 degrees variation equals 16 degrees east and this will be plus so true bearing equals 243.9 degrees okay guys 243.9 degrees and true bearing here is also 243.9 degrees so we have correct 
result. Okay guys, and take note guys that the best way to get the compass bearing of the sun is when almost half of sun's body is under the horizon in clear weather as you can see in the illustration here this is the sun and this is the horizon okay guys okay this is the best way to take the sun's bearing if you want to compute amplitude of the sun either in the morning or in the afternoon in clear weather okay guys so that's all for now see you in my next videos and if you want more updates of my videos please like subscribe and click the notification bell thank you for watching